will apologize. It is very dark where I am at. I am actually outside in the desert. So for you, those that don't know me, I'm a tiny home liver and we live in a converted school bus. So my office tends to be by sunset and moonrise in the desert at a table outside and I just love it. So that's why it's a little dark behind me because middle of nowhere <laughs> and it is seven o'clock. Hi there, my name is Karen Hewitt. I am the Club Growth Director for District 3 AZ Toastmasters, and tonight we're going to be talking about Pinterest. Pinterest is actually a really underused resource, like incredibly underused. It is a quick way to gain visibility for your clubs, but it's also something that I truly believe that you can do in 15 to 20 minutes or less a week to get some actual traction. So it is a simple, easy system. So we are gonna get started. So Pinterest, why Pinterest? Well, first of all, Pinterest has 291 million monthly active users. It is the third largest social media in the US. And it is also heavily a female audience. In fact, they say that they only have about 7% male. Do not let that deter you because it is something that we are attracting is a lot more females as well as males. Twitter and other social medias can be very male-based, whereas Pinterest can be very female-based. We have to be able to balance all different sides. And you never know. Sometimes I have had this happen where it has been a wife that has seen something and gone, hey, honey, you need this and sent them to Toastmasters. So don't worry about it being a heavily female audience. We're still getting the word out there. Today, we're going to cover a few things. One, setting up your page. My favorite thing is batching content. This is why I only say it takes 15 or 20 minutes. My third is basic content creation, using other pins and tips and tricks. This can be quite fun, quite simple, and quite easy. So first, we're gonna look at setting up your page. If you haven't already gone and found the District 3 Pinterest page, go ahead, the links are on AZ Toastmasters blog. And as you can see, we may only have 58 followers so far, because this is rather new to District 3, but we're having over 10,000 views per month. Now, I want you to take that second to think about that. 10,000 views a month. So the pins that we post are being seen by 10,000 people every single month. If that isn't showcasing what we are doing, I don't know what is. It is a great organic system. You can do paid advertising on this, but this is without paid advertising. So can you imagine what you can do? So first, don't get, oh, well, I'm not going to have many followers. It doesn't matter. The amount of followers isn't the key thing on Pinterest. It is the views. How many people are looking at your page? How many people are looking at your pins? What is going on there? So don't worry about any of that. Here, I try to do a very simple step-by-step -step because I don't want anyone to be lost. You're going to go to your Welcome to Pinterest and you're going to pop in your email address. Because we're doing it for a club, please make sure that you use an email address that can be shared. If your club doesn't have an email address, go ahead, create one at Gmail for the club. 123toastmasters at gmail.com. It's a free email service, and it's going to be a great way for you to have social media set up that can be quite easily passed from one VPPR to the next VPPR without any hassle. Or, well, it's in my name, so, so just save yourself the headache and set up a club-specific email address. You're going to create a password. You're going to tell it what your name is. You're gonna, it says, what is your gender, female, male, specify another. 
and that's totally okay. Where, what is your country or region? Because then they're going to showcase your pins more in that area. It's a geographical location. So it is a good thing to have that. Then it's going to tell you, welcome to Pinterest. Pick five or more to get started. These don't really matter to what you pick because these are just for your feed. However, there are things like quotes, business, health. You don't have to be all about DIY, home decor, or anything like that. There is a whole bunch of stuff, and that is just what's going to populate in your feed. I picked a lot of quote stuff. I picked a lot of health, just for fun. And then, oh, <laughs> I see I grabbed this. When I was taking a screenshot, I grabbed my, husby, my hubby's chat picture at the bottom. So, hi, hubby. So once you get to the next page, you're going to hit save, and that is going to tell you that you haven't saved any ideas yet. Uh-oh. Never mind, we don't really want to go there yet. We're going to go to the little bolt. Instead of a gear, it's a bolt. If you can see that just at the top right of that particular screenshot in the middle, we click on that and we get edit profile, account settings, notifications, privacy data, everything like that. You're going to start at the top with edit profile and you will fill in every single piece you can and then upload a picture it could be the toastmasters logo it could be a picture of your club it could be a picture of your club banner as your profile picture do a short bio please do a short bio because that is some way how they're going to find you so let's say i'm going to use in our district we have a club that's very specific for those that have hearing it is one of, it is the first club that's specifically designed for those with hearing impediments. So right there in that short bio, you would write that first Toastmasters club dedicated to the development in communication and leadership of those with hearing impediments. Right there, put it. Be proud of it. What else is it? You're a club for foot. Put it. You body years. I have that club that has a, you can put things like we have a diverse network of membership all working together in a easy, relaxing and supportive environment. This is your chance to have a quick, like couple of sentences to sell yourself. Then add your link to your website. This can be free toast host, or you might even have a domain name. Just make sure you're linked to somewhere that you have. If you don't have free toast host, please check out the District 3 Toastmasters YouTube channel. There is a fantastic training on there all about free toast host. It is a great system for you to do your agendas and also have an outward base for your club. How you know you did it? You'll get something like this, but it would have test Toastmasters, uh, Audible Hearing Toastmasters. It will have your name. And it, you won't have any followers and you won't have any following yet because we haven't done any pins. Your profile showcases what you did. So if you look at the very top, you can see that there's little squares on a slant over the, I, over the profile picture, which in our case is the logo. Those pins, when you post pins, they start to populate in the top. If you post one pin, it'll just repeat itself five or six times. But that is what that is. They won't be top pictures until you start pinning, but you can pin away as soon as possible. The biggest thing you can do right now is make sure every single piece of that is complete. Do we have any questions on how to set it up yet, Jennifer? I'm not seeing any questions, but uh, Jim just put a comment, banner pick. So I'm not sure what his question is on, is on that. Maybe asking about okay. the banner picture that's on there. You can put a banner in there. You can upload one. I do not recommend it. It does not tell the user anything about what you're posting. And as you are pinning, that top banner is constantly evolving and being a fresh face. 
why do the work when Pinterest will do it for you? I'm a great believer in work smarter, not harder. I hope that answers. If not, please put clarification in the chat and we will definitely answer that. So how often should you post? My recommendation, 10 pins a week. And you can quite easily do that in just a matter of minutes. Or you can go in multiple times a week. But as long as you're pinning at least 10 pins a week, you are constantly evolving your Pinterest page. And you are growing it. That getting 10,000 users is an average of five or six pins a week. So 10 a week is going to give you quite a bit of growth. And I am going to show you how to do that. But I'm not going to do it in the PowerPoint. I'm actually going to take you to Pinterest and show you. What do you post? Well, you're going to post how-tos. Pinterest is like the DIY superstar network. People want to know, how do I give a wedding speech? Guess what? Pinterest is a great place to go for that. Five ways to overcome anxiety in public speaking. Pinterest. These are how-tos. How do I do an evaluation? How do I give a work evaluation? How do I do an elevator speech. Again, all how to's. Give them tips. Quotes are also really good. If you look at Toastmasters International, they do do a lot of quotes. And those are great. And then the education. The education is sharing what we teach, sharing life. And if you want to go and look at Facebook training, which will be up on the youth shortly, I went over how to find all the education you need to post. So those are the things that you're going to want to post. So I'm now going to stop sharing <laughs> because I am going to go and share on my page. Now, I am going to be honest. I am using my personal because I do have I'm using my personal Pinterest page right now because I do have more content on there and it's easier to showcase. Bear with me for showing that. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. <laughs> so once you've been doing it a while, this is kind of how your personal page is going to look. And it is going to have all these different things on there and notifications. One of the first things I'm going to have you do is you're going to go to a website, which is business.pinterest.com while you're logged in. And you're going to sign in. As you can see here, I'm signed in under. What that does is it gives you analytics. So you can go to the business hub. This is important. If you're going to be doing social media, make sure it's just taking a minute for it to load. Make sure you can always see how you're tracking and the analytics are going to be really good for you. You're going to see what is popular and what is not. For example, like my pins just got 44.8 impressions, 153 saves, 63 link clicks. The link clicks is clicks to to the website. That's what you want. And this is why you're going to put your website off free toast host because you want them to click through to that to contact you to see about joining a meeting. And if you look, this is in the last 30 days. So for me posting full time, I actually haven't posted on my personal Pinterest in like two weeks. It is going to be evergreen and it is always going to be being used. So then I'm going to show you the tricks on how to create the pins. First of all, you're going to do a Google for the Pinterest Chrome browser. And I'm going to show you there's this little, see this little pin up here, this little P, save. I'm going to go to, this is a Toastmasters website. And I can go to resources. Let's see, resource library. Oh no, it's public speaking tips. We're going in tips because it is Toastmasters, accepting awards. Can you see how this just popped up as red? We click it, 
and it says, okay, so which one do you want to choose? I'm going to choose this picture. Then I'm going to hit the next. And you see right here, it tells me, well, what board one? I want to do public speaking. You see, I have a public speaking instead and I'm going to save it. I have now just saved that pin to my board. This create, if I see it now, there we go. This is on Pinterest. The next thing I'm going to show you is, same thing, hit the pin. See how easy it makes it? This is how you could easily do 10 to 15 posts a week. You can actually save every single one of those pictures as a new link, all of them. And with that, you actually have six posts now on your pinch board in under two minutes. But let's say I don't have a board that I want to put in. I can create a board and choose. Uh, let's see, what can we call it? How to speak clearly. Actually, do you want it secret or no? And you just create and pin. And that is it. It's just creating it right now. So it takes a couple of minutes. And I have just pinned two pins to Pinterest in under two minutes. But hang on. What about, there's got to be another way we can do this, right? See here, create. We are going to create a pin. I'm going to show you a secret hack. I don't want that down on me. I'm going to go to my Facebook page for my Toastmasters District 3. And see here how it has, you go to your page. What you want to do is click on the hour. And look, now you have a direct link for that post. So you always click on the time. You're going to select all copy it add a destination link right here you're going to save the picture and upload it and guess what it is now taking them directly to your facebook page you can do this for videos that you post on youtube you can do this for anywhere by just using this link now, if I wanted to, let's say every Sunday, go through and go through the last week's posts that have happened on my other dish, my other social media for my club, I can sit there and just knock them out in 10, 15 minutes and add 25 or 30 posts to my Pinterest. The concept is this is giving us an audience and this is how it goes. And as you continue to add them, your Pinterest grows and grows. So with that, I told you Pinterest is quite easily one of the quickest ways we can grow our business. So that was really quick. I know because Pinterest to me is simple and you, this is a social media, you want to do it in 10, 15 minutes or less a week. Jennifer, do we have any more questions? Questions that actually, I can answer. You, actually, you do. Um, Jim asked, yeah. what was the name? Was it Free Toast Host? Free Toast Host. F R E E T O A S T H O S T. Then, On the District 3 YouTube channel, there is a video of how to use it. It is a free service to all Toastmasters clubs. He also asked, um, a board, is, it, is that a topic page? Kind of, yeah. It's I like to think of it as like bookshelves. You know, you go into a library and you have different bookshelves. So you could do a bookshelf for the fear of public speaking, a bookshelf for how to be a motivational speaker, a bookshelf for how to do wedding announcements, 
a book delve on how to facilitate education sessions. And then you could sort all those different pins into those that makes it user friendly for someone who's they might be like oh i i have to i have to do a education session next week and how do i find it they can go to that bookshelf on your pinterest page and go through all your pins on that all right uh, jim also wanted to know do hashtags work to make it easy for people to find it hashtags do work but they're not as big on pinterest as on other social medias because on Pinterest it will pick it up with or without the hashtag symbol so if you put public speaking in with a hashtag it will pick it up just the same as public speaking without it unless you type in hashtag public speaking to find it and be honest most people they just put public speaking okay um Celia wanted to know, how did you load the info without uploading the image in the info? When I pinned it from Toastmasters, because it's automatically done on those websites, on the one where I did it from Facebook, I would have taken, I would have copied the image and then just copy pasted the information from the post. Just a quick copy paste. And Evangeline wanted to know, when do you hit publish? As soon as you've finished it, you just hit publish at the end of each pin and it'll automatically publish each pin within minutes or what, rather seconds. Okay, and Jim asked, is Pinterest better for a district? Will division area and club Pinterest work just as well? You, What would be absolutely beautiful? Club Pinterest are good because it gives the club some self awareness when it comes to marketing their own business because every club is different we have clubs that really we have a club again in this district which is about for riders a club for riders is going to do different things than a corporate club so on a club level is fantastic because it allows them personality on a district level it's a whole nother ball game because now we put like we put this training on ours and all this other thing, we put all the trainings. You can also put shout outs on there. Although shout outs aren't so popular. What would I say? I see area, for areas and division directors, unless they're doing their own training systems, it's not as successful. Because the idea is if we're talking to the public, we're not going to be like, hey, join Area 3. Area 3 is fantastic. You want to be a member of Area 3. We're like, hey, you want to be a member of this club or a member of this district. The areas and divisions are part of the district. So this is how you can grow it. Okay, what other questions? Uh, Celia asked, what would you say about the area director? The area director, I, st I wouldn't actually do one for an area director or division director, but I would encourage your clubs to do them. Because I just show how quickly, honestly, if you think about it, I just add, I could have added in that time, eight pins in under five minutes. It is the fastest social media to gain brand awareness on. And okay. Rosemary asked, at what stage do you enter the information related to the pen? Once you pull it, as I pulled it up before to put the link in, then you enter the information. If you're pinning it from a separate source, like I pinned from Toastmasters International, you can't enter the information because it's automatically loaded from what that website puts in there. So if they don't put information in there, it's blank. And if you find that happens, I just tend to take the link, put it in like I did for the Facebook post, put the link in, download the picture, and then put the information in myself. Okay. Um. Jim asked, is Pinterest just a pin existing material or can you create new material directly on Pinterest? Oh, you can create, create, create. And you can create infographics. You can create anything you want. I love canva.com for that. 
you can if you have a website that has a blog for your group for your club go ahead and pin those create have fun create 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 just remember to follow branding advice when i did the second way to do it where i went to the top and hit create pin that's when you can upload your own image your own information everything right there you have complete flexibility uh, Celia asked if you can run through or show us again, uh, show them again where to sign up. Okay. Give me a second. I'm actually going to go over a couple of things real quick, showcase a couple of things fast. Hello. 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 Okay, so to answer my answer the first question, how do you put information in? So, like here, I put in the link to that Facebook page. I would put an image here, add a title, and tell everyone my pins about. And you get five hundred characters, but people only see the first fifty. So make the first fifty pop. So that was a leadership, was it? Let me see. Improve your speaking and leading with Chris. Uh, improv comedy so how Im improv improves your public speaking so you see there's 40 characters so that is going to jump right off then i can go into the rest of 458 characters and give more information on my in title, I'm going to add another keyword which he had in there, which was comedy. Comedy, improv for public. Hang on, let's see. I want to go with the for public speaking. Okay, and I fill all this in. Add the picture, and then I hit publish. And then within a moment, it comes up. Your pin has been saved. Would you like to see it now? That is how there you can add those in super fast. It's lots of fun. So what happened in here is you, because my drop down screen for screen sharing is covering what I'm doing at the top. All right, so. so you got to see a couple of my browsers. This is Canva. This is the system that I was telling you about that's really good. Lots of free options on Canva. So very quickly, you're gonna go, I'm gonna go back. You're going to go see it. You're going to go to Pinterest.com. It's gonna say, welcome to Pinterest. You put in an email address. Again, I recommend that the club has its own email address. If they don't already have it, just go to Gmail and create one. It is super simple. Create a password. And it's going to take you through the setup program. What's your name? What's your gender? What, where are you? Pick things that you like. And then it's going to take you to like a menu, at which point you're going to click on the little person at the bottom which says saved and that will take you to your profile at the top you have the little gear right here and that is going to take you into your settings where you can just click through each of these and fill it out in its entirety and that is how you set up the page like i said this is the most simple one to set up and the easiest to add lots of content to that is easy to use. I'm going to pop this up here real quick so you can screenshot it if you would like. These are the different social medias you can find me on. Or you can email at me at cgd at aztoastmasters.org. I'm always happy to answer questions. I'm going to give that, leave that up for a minute. Jennifer, do we have any other questions? This is going to be a nice, easy 30-minute webinar. You actually did. Go ahead. Uh, Jim asked the analytics page. Does it yes. show samples of ultra successful pins so you can see what works and what doesn't? 
No, it only shows your pins. That would have been nice if it had done that. <laughs> yeah, it only shows your items. Darn. <laughs> but you can see what is... <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you the biggest misconception to social media. Everyone thinks there is a he said, she said way to do it. Like you must post this and you must do this and you must say this. Social media is actually about personality. And how it's going to be the most successful for your club is if you allow your club's personality to shine through. I can guarantee out of the so many clubs that I visited, there is no two clubs that are identical. They all have their little flair, their little personality, their little differences. Some have different roles. Some have different ways they do table topics. There's always something different that makes them unique and special. Social media is about allowing that special sauce to just flow out and have that there with them and showcase it and be like, hey, all right, we may be a little quirky. I know there's one club that we have that has a musical Toastmasters meeting every year where everyone has to do it in song. Every single role, every single speech is a song. And I'm like, nope, count me out. I'm not a singer. <laughs> but they love it. And it's something that's fun and amazing for them. So allow, don't worry about what makes other people successful put your club's personality out there and that is how you'll find the most success and you can also pin from youtube linkedin twitter if you are on any social media or any link you can pin those all you do is take all your social media postings from the last week like every one day a week go through the last seven days on all your other social medias and pin all those posts you're getting more vision on your stuff is there any more questions, Jennifer? No, you you have gotten them all. Oh, oh, here we go. Jim just popped one up. Yes. Is there any question about copyright infringement? Not as long as you're giving the right credit. If you notice when I was pinning from Toastmasters International, I was pinning from their site. So even though I was using it on mine, it was still credited to them. It will actually come, this was taken from Toastmasters International. If you, if one of your posts on social media is from this month's Toastmasters magazine, as soon as they click on that pin to look at the whole thing, you have the credit there. Just remember to credit and you're good. It, it really seems like um, Pinterest has, gives, it makes it the easiest to credit because it's right there. You're literally just pinning it saying, hey, go take a look at this. Correct. And that way you have no cop. Now, if you were to take something directly from Toastmasters and pretend that you wrote it, that's when you get the copyright issues. As long as you credit the source that you took it from, you're good. Okay. You looks like you covered them. <laughs> Yay. All right. Well, oh. No, it was just, um, that was Vangeline just uh, thanking you and me for putting this out there, which Karen, you did an amazing job as usual. <laughs> I am addicted to social media and I, that should be a bad thing, but I love it because it is the easiest and quickest way for you to showcase a business and an organization, especially with the pandemic. So enjoy it, have fun with it and just have a blast. And remember that your analytics are going to tell you what pins of yours are doing well. So if you're looking at your pins and you say, whoa, the pins of our weekly meetings that we post on YouTube are getting like five times the views of everything else. You know what that tells you? You need to post more videos on Pinterest. So maybe then you do, okay, we're going to do some, I'm going to arrange to do some interviews with some of our members in between meetings and post those. It's well, that's the way, one the way to go. Rosemary wanted to let you know that you make this look so easy. Pinterest is like the easiest one. I'm telling you, the content creation is there for you, the crediting is there for you, and it is the fastest one to gain information. I will yeah. tell you, the primary purpose of Pinterest is brand us. Mm -hmm. So the more 
information you put there, the more they're going to see it and the more they want to look you up. Uh, now, Jim, so asked about from all, your, all, all your media sites and your experience, which one brings in the most potential members to the club? <sighs> okay, that's a tough one. I have two favorites and it depends on the club. For my more business style postmaster clubs, the ones that are very entrepreneurial, business, corporate, you know, those very, I don't want to say professional because we're all professional, but I'm pretty sure you know what I mean when I'm saying the more business driven Toastmasters are very efficient, they're very, let's do this, we're doing speech, we've got goals in mind. That one, I find that LinkedIn supersedes and we have a LinkedIn training on the 18th. The other one that I personally find is best for community clubs, especially those that have a little bit of humor, a little bit of fun, a little bit of goofiness maybe, yes. or a more relaxed style. You know, the ones that you go into and it's like you're part of the family. All types of clubs are needed and necessary, but again, every club has its own personality. Facebook for the win. And that Facebook training should be finished editing soon and be up on the YouTube channel for District 3 very soon because I did that one, was it three weeks ago? It was three weeks ago. That but that will be coming up. Yeah, it'll be coming up onto our YouTube channel very soon. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking 40 minutes out of your busy time to spend it with me and look at these different things for social media this week. I truly hope this has been a benefit to you and that you can take this information and take it to your clubs and come up with some fun and unique and interesting ways to help promote yourselves because all social media is is starting conversations and a little secret toastmasters are really good at conversations we just have to start them and this is just another tool for you to do that